Today let's talk about factors. What we're doing is we are finding factors, all right? In a multiplication problem, let's say 2 times 3, we all know that equals 6. Now 6 is a product of this multiplication sentence, but our factors here are 2 times 3. That's our factor pair, and our factors are 2 and 3. So those are factors. This is a product because that's the answer. So let's start by finding the factors of, let's say, 24. Well, when we find the factors of 24, we start with 1 times 24, because those multiplied together give us 24. Well, we go in order, so we know what comes after 1. Well, it's 2. 2 times what? Well, 2 times 12. Can I go to 3? 3 times something? Well, we know 3 times 8 gives us 24. What about 4? Does 4 work? 4 times, yeah, we know, 4 times 6. That works. Now let's go on. What comes after 4? Well, 5, naturally. So does 5 go into 24? No, it does not. So you move on to 6. Does 6? Yes, 6 does, but we already have a 6. Since, since we already have it, we are done. So then what you do is you have to start right here, and you take and you draw an arrow. From the beginning to the end. This makes your organized list. So now all you have to do is start with your arrow. You're going to start right here. What, what are you touching? You're touching the one. And follow that arrow all the way around. And you list out all of your factors in order from least to greatest. So what are our factors of 24? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. That's all of our factors right here. Now our factor pairs are 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. But the main thing we're looking for are our factors, which are right here. Alright, now let's go ahead and try another one. Um, this time we could do, let's say, 15. We'll always start with the beginning. You got 1 five times 15. That gives us 15. Um, how about 2? Well, 15 is an odd number, so 2 can't go into 15. What about 3? Well, 3 times 5 works. 4, no, 5. We already have 5 right here, so we're done. So we draw our arrow around, and we can list our factors. Start at the beginning um, of the arrow. You have 1, 3, 5, 15. Those are our factors. And we're done. Our factors are 1, 3, 5, and 15. I want to show you one more. Um, this one we have, let's try 11. Well, we start at the beginning, 1 times 11. Now how about 2? Can we do 2 times anything? Well, no. 2 is an even number and 11 is odd, so it won't go in. What about 3? No, 3 won't land on 11. 4, no. 5, no, 6, no. Now, we know that we can be done because 6 is more than half of 11. So once you hit that halfway point, you're good to go. So, because 7 doesn't work, 8, no, 9, no, 10, no, and 11, yes, we already have 11, so we're done. So we need to do the same thing. We draw our arrow and list our factors, 1 and 11. Now, this type of number is a special number. This special number is prime. Now prime numbers have only two factors. That is 1 and itself. That makes this number prime. Now when we looked at 15, that had four factors. That made that number not prime. It made it composite because it had more than two factors. Prime numbers, so we have our prime numbers here. Prime, that would be 11. Now some other examples of prime are um, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on. Now, it goes on forever and ever and ever, um, but just remember that prime numbers only have two factors, one and itself. Now last, I'm going to give you some problems and you can go ahead and try these problems out.
Now, this would be a good time to hit pause um, because I'm going to give you the answer here in about three, two, one. How'd you do? Did you get them right? I hope so. All right, we'll see you next time.